welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. Uh, of course, this is not a news broadcast. This is a just a reality check uh, for all my subscribers and people that stumble across this video. Uh, being a Christian, you know, uh, the Lord tells us to pick up our cross daily and follow Him. He makes sure He puts in there daily. Uh, you know, you turn on the TV and you pick up a book or you come across a video on the internet and there's uh, people out there that's telling you that if you become a Christian, uh, name and claim it. You want that brand new BMW, you name and claim it. It can be yours. You want that million dollar house, you can name and claim it. It can be yours. Well, it sounds good. It really does. It sounds very well. It, it sounds wonderful. You know, who wouldn't accept Jesus if the payoff's right? You know, you, you want that kind of Jesus? If the payoff's right, I'll take that Jesus. That's, that's what's being sold out there, ladies and gentlemen. The facts of the situation, the Lord tells us to pick up our cross daily and follow Him. He makes sure He puts daily in there. Now, the, the cross is a symbol of the ultimate love of Christ. Uh, the greatest act of love in the history of the world. But it's also a symbol of blood, sweat, tears, grief, agony, humiliation. You know, before my wonderful journey in the gospel, I, uh, from a materialistic point of view I was a very successful person at a very young age uh, president of a major corporation at a very young age making uh, just money that most people that age wouldn't even come close to uh, had so many friends my cell phone or so-called friends my cell phone didn't quit ringing uh, it was the life of the party and then my life changed my world was turned upside down overnight illness came upon me demonic attacks uh, demonic persecution uh, illness uh, financial burdens poverty uh, you name it I lost everything even my health. But ladies and gentlemen, it to achieve something big, and when I say big, this this could mean in all er, various aspects of life. It's done with blood, sweat, and tears. To be successful at whatever you uh, set, take this journey of life to do. There's no easy way around it. There's no get rich quick schemes. There's no uh, uh, a success fairy that's going to uh, make you a success uh, easy. 99.9999% uh, is done by tons of work tons of failure and I say failure because nothing in life worth obtaining is not met with overwhelming failure daily failure 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 if you get knocked down a million times a day if you get up a million in one time that day is a success that day is a success well in my journey in the gospel, I've had, uh, I, before, before I say that, my life prior to the gospel, I had very little suffering, uh, very little humiliation, uh, 
no poverty, uh, no loneliness. At, at what I thought that what I knew at the time. And when I embarked on my journey, I uh, I knew that I, ha I had to learn how to fight. Fight the good fight of faith, Apostle Paul says. And I uh, knocked on literally thousands upon thousands of doors in excruciating heat, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. I stood on street corners and, uh, and uh, blanketed parking lots with uh, tracks and flyers and and you know when when you become a Christian expect failure and when you when you fail and I say when not if when you fail and it will be many times a day you will fail remember that you are a child of the God most high and your journey, and trust me, it's going to be a journey, and it's going to be a fight. Because when you become a Christian, the gates of hell are coming against you. Count it. It's coming. It will come. But the reward to one day imagine that we will be in heaven, having sweet fellowship for eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ in Nazareth, with all the prophets, all the apostles. Everybody in your family going back to Adam and Eve will be in constant fellowship with one another. And to hear those sweet, sweet, precious word of the Lord telling you welcome home after this fight is over. And that trumpet sounds or we have to go uh, heaven via uh, the valley of the shadow of death. Nothing is going to be easy about it. But the reward, ladies and gentlemen, the reward is going to be so far much better than any materialistic thing that you can possibly get on earth. And it's tough being a Christian in the United States. I just want to re reiterate that. It's tough being a Christian in the United States. Perhaps the toughest place in the world because there's so many temptations here. Keep the fight of faith going. When you get knocked down thousands of times a day, you get up a thousand and one. And keep the fight of faith. Don't fear rejection when you, if you decide to do some ministry work. Don't fear telling your friend or your co-worker about Christ out of fear what they may think. Christ didn't deny you when he was on the cross thinking about you. Fight the good fight. We're in a battle. And for the believers out there, they know what I'm talking about. And if you're thinking about being a Christian, I wish I can tell you that every, you're going to get a nice house and you're going to get a nice car and you're going to get a beautiful wife or if you're a woman, you're going to get a beautiful husband or... Uh, and your worries are over. I wish I could say that. I really do. I really wish I can say that. But that's not true. The gates of hell will come against you. But keep fighting. Keep fighting. Don't be afraid to tell your neighbor about Christ. Don't be afraid to tell people your testimony. And that, that's a process. You're not. You just. You're not going to wake up and one morning and be an Apostle Paul. It takes much rejection, learning, getting knocked down, getting back up, prayer, reading your Bible, fasting. And in, in, and it will come. It will come. Your fear of uh, uh, proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ uh, will uh, subside and you will become bolder. And the fight will continue until your heart stops beating. 
but the reward of the fellowship with Jesus is going to be so, so, so great. It's going to be wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. So I just wanted to tell you that uh, keep the fight of faith going, each and every believer out there. If you're not a believer, wish I could tell you that it shouldn't be all easy. But the reward, sir or ma'am, if you're thinking, or a child, maybe you're, you're, you're a teenager, a young child that's listening to this, your reward is going to be so great. There's be no comparison what this world can offer you. Nothing can offer you eternity in heaven. Keep the fight going. We thank you for tuning in to Jerusalem's Gate. Uh, the next news broadcast will be uh, broadcasting. Uh, we love you. God be with each and every one of you.